Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo, and today we'll be talking about and reviewing the two different sizes of battery cases that you can get from Zero Lemon for your Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Now, I will be placing both of these links below the video inside of the description, but again, it's for the Plus version, not the regular Galaxy Note 10. Now, the reason why I love Zero Lemon and I use their products is because of how much battery capacity comes with the price and also just the quality, durability, and everything that it pretty much gives you so for example this one right here this one is the 5000 milliamp battery case and you're able to get this one on amazon for 35 dollars now really when you look at other competitors out there let's just say mophie you're looking at one that's somewhere around 2500 milliamps so it's half of this but you'd be paying twice as much which is why i love zero lemon so let's go over the smaller case first and when you place it in you want to place it into the bottom kind of pretty much at a diagonal so this way it goes into your usb type c and then you're able to pretty much snap in the very top this one's really easy to put on take off put in your pocket it just adds a little bit of thickness it's almost as thick as two cell phones right here uh, but really this is going to get the job done if you're going somewhere for a day if you're at work and you're a heavy use scenario type person uh, all you have to do is press on your button once and then it charges your device the other thing that's really nice about it too is that it does enable for your fast charging so just make sure the case is off when you plug it in it'll do your fast charge the other thing it also offers is wireless charging so it can go through the case so you don't have to take the case off some of the past zero lemon battery cases did not allow for wireless charging and then now it does for this year for the galaxy note 10 plus so really if you're going for a day if you just need extra battery uh, you know this is 5000 so this is going to easily add in uh, 80 percent more battery than what the galaxy note 10 plus already has and so you will be definitely going through the day no issues you're going to a theme park and then now you're good to go now let's head over into the larger brother. This is the 10,000 milliamp battery case, and this one sells for $60. Uh, so it's double the capacity for just a little bit more. And so in order for this one to pretty much come apart, you wanna take off this rubber that's around it first. And this is what kind of holds it all together and also gives it a little bit of protection. Once you take all of this off, you can just see that this is just basically rubber. You'll also have this piece here and it's pretty easy to take it off along the edges. Uh, and so then now that this part is taken off, this one is gonna be completely flush. It's extremely open to place your phone on the inside. And then once you place it on the inside, then you put on your cover here. And then once it's sitting inside, just make sure it's all sitting correctly. You know that your volume keys and the power is sitting over there. Now, once you're inside of the 10,000 milliamp battery pack case, this thing is pretty huge. It gets pretty large. It gets thick. Uh, you know, it's going to be a little bit larger than two cell phones sitting next to each other in your pocket. But I'd have to say that when it comes down to using the volume rocker, uh, the power button, everything else, it actually works really easy. The pressure it takes to hit this little button, uh, it, it's no different no really harder than just hitting the phone itself now for some reason because of the way that this case is made hitting the volume rocker and the power button it's really hard to if you press this you have to press harder than normal my guess is because it's so hard right here that this case is super stiff that it makes it hard to actually hit on the buttons and so this one is just it's soft all around where those volume rocker and the power button is that's why this one's a little bit easier i always talk about clickability when it comes down to cases this one has good clickability this one does not uh, but it's a lot smaller and it's going to definitely get you through whatever scenario you're going through now same thing with this one here too if you want to charge it you press the button once uh, and then it's going to basically light up letting you know how much battery is left and then it's you know charging your phone it's going at the normal cable charging so it's not fast charging and that's just for the security and safety of this battery pack itself uh, when you turn it off you want to press and hold and then now it's off it's not charging uh, you do have pass-through charging on both devices so pass-through charging means that when you plug it in uh, it's going to charge the phone first and you can see here fast charging it's going to charge the phone first then it'll charge the case. The phone is the one that's most important, not the case. So when you plug this one in, for example, for the 10,000 milliamp battery case here, it'll charge from zero to 100% in five hours. And we're talking about both. 
the phone and the battery case. So if your phone is dead, the battery case is dead, five hours to charge both of them with your normal charging cable that comes with your Samsung Galaxy device. Now, the other nice and cool thing about this one is that if you have any type of OTG cables, when your battery case is off, if you double press it, you're gonna see the flashing lights and then you're able to plug in your OTG cables. Uh, so really anything that's the on the go type cables, now it's in that uh, scenario for that to work. Double press it again and it goes away. Uh, now when you do plug this into Android Auto, if you plug it into Samsung DeX, you plug it into your computer, everything works everything is supposed to be the way it's supposed to be there is no interference when it comes down to the charger down here uh, really the only thing this is adding is a huge battery and a lot of weight so as we mentioned from before you still have wireless charging so you can have wireless charging on both cases you have fast charging that goes through both of them this one has a little bit more capabilities when it comes down to everything plugged in with otg cables this one does not allow that feature for otg uh, you can still plug this into your computer and have the file sync this also has file sync so anything you want to transfer to your computer it's going to work with both of these ones uh, but really the differentiating factor is going to be size and weight but also you'll have different scenarios so this one i would take if i'm going camping and i'm gone for two days uh, something where i need a ton of battery and i want to charge my phone uh, a couple of times this one will give you one full charge pass through here and so this is good for a full entire day so again if you're gone for the weekend you don't want to lug around a battery pack along with a cable and have it dangling and all the other stuff and, and you don't want to be around a wall outlet uh, then this one right here is going to be for you especially for a full entire weekend this one is for a full day if you're a huge extreme power user and again you don't want to be plugged into a wall you don't have the access or you don't want to bring a battery pack with a cable that's dangling but these are both awesome products they both give you some a little bit of protection if they were to drop they both do get a little bit more heavy you can see that there's two different use case scenarios which one are you write in the comments below are you one that's more of the 5000 milliamp or are you more of the 10,000? and i do have to say when this thing sits on its end it's sitting up like a inflatable big screen projector screen it's like i'm watching my own video without having to have any clips on the back so it just sits up by itself to watch your videos but again which one are you are you 5000 or are you 10000 again both links are below the video inside the description this one's 35 and this one is 60 but i hope you guys have liked this video if you guys did please give this thing a huge thumbs up don't forget to hit on subscribe subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side and if you like this video then more than likely you'll also like this video and i'll see you guys later